this is how me and my little walk now. <laughs> I carry him most of the way. <laughs> Our little stroll for tonight. I'm not going to go too far because he can get heavy and hard on my spine. <laughs> but anyways, he walked for a little bit. But then he said, no, I'm done. He wants to go to every vehicle that's white because he thinks that that's the van. <laughs> and he says, I'm done. It's kind of funny. Huh. He cracks me up. He says, I'm old. What do you expect? When I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> All right. So this is our stroll. Just walking a little bit. Not too far because we have to go back up. But isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I'll stop so I don't jiggle. Let me turn it around so I can see what I'm filming. The little LCD screen. Yeah, look at that. We're out walking. We came this way so we can get away from a lot of the campers. They're all back there. Yeah, so we can have a little more quietness, not have to worry about a dog coming towards us or barking and triggering, you know, a dog bark fest. All right, so that's our little walk. I'm going to start heading back. I'll show you more later. Okay, there he is. He's being Mr. Sled Dog trying to get back to our van, but he's walking okay so far. So far, so good. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> yeah, are you almost done? See, he'll start to slow down. Let's see if I can... Yeah, he kind of... Are you almost done? Oh, yeah, see? He kind of looks back and goes, Nope, I don't feel good. Yeah, no more? Is that it? You did good so far. That was a good little... Good little stroll. You did a couple little little strides there. Actually, he did pretty good. I would say, I don't know, maybe is that did. Um, yeah, I see that now he's done. I would say he did maybe, I don't know, like enough of the length of two, two camp spots. And then I picked him up and then we did a, about a couple more. Maybe about a total of another three. So maybe a total of five, the distance of five camping spots. That's pretty good for now. You've had a busy day. Okay, we're done for today. I'll get you I'll get you a stroller. We'll find one for you to help. But you still gotta walk a little bit. Keep that back strong. Come on. Oh, oh, see now we're gonna come. Oh hold on, let me get him. Alright, look at him now. He saw a dog and oh he forgot all about his spinal issues at that moment. I think he's got me trained. Look at that. He totally forgot all about it. Didn't you there for a second? <laughs> Good. Now he's listening. Now I remember. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. No. <laughs> Come on. No, he says, oh, there you go. Come on. Come on. Let's go walkie walkie. Come on. Walkie walkie. Come on. Come on. Let's go strengthen that back. <laughs> I don't know, Milo. All right. Well, we tried. This is what I go through. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go have a good walk and a good day, even if I have to carry you part of the way. But let's hope. He'll probably walk back, but it's just going the, to the two, going out. He says, no way. But coming back, he'll probably be in a hurry to get back to the camp spot, so he'll forget all about his spinal issues then. All right, let me go pick you up. Hi, my friends. I want to say um, 
thank you so much for all the wonderful comments and all of your love and support and thoughts and prayers um, about Milo and especially all the comments under that video about his update. Um, sorry I'm not able to get to comments but I have a lot going on and I'm trying to get back on the road soon to make my doctor's appointment coming up here real soon in my hometown my new hometown area so I have quite a commute to get back into that area so I have a lot going on to get ready for that move um, but I just really want to say thank you and we say thank you huh he said thank you <laughs> and also a quick tribute to my mother my my mother is not here anymore um, she passed away first in 03 and then my dad was in 05 um, my mother was an amazing strong lady. She was a little thing, only four foot eleven, <laughs> and she had a really hard life. She really did. So, um, but she just loved by um, always putting us first over herself. You know, she really did. There's times my mother went out, went without a lot of things as we were growing up to make sure that we had things. And so she was just sweet in that way, very, you know, sacrificing in many ways to make sure we had a great life. And um, she was, yeah, an amazing lady, very strong, um, physically and emotionally strong but she actually went through so much in life that I she almost kind of had a wall too around her heart you know she was just very tough and yeah so I'm I'm a little bit well I'm kind of the blend of both of my parents you know um, but she was just just an amazing lady. I talked to her all the time and we chatted and it was really hard losing her because I didn't have that person that I can talk to all the time and, and I was close to both my parents but it was definitely hard to, to, lo to lose her. It's hard to lose both your parents. So that was kind of like my mother. That's a little bit about my mother I should say and um, never really had any health issues other than arthritis she really did but she didn't talk a lot about it and but you can see that she struggled with those issues and she was just like the ener energizing bunny I used to call her and she just go 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 you never saw her in the um, doctor's office or hospital I saw her in the hospital once when she had a, a major car accident um, with the, because of the other person that caused it when she was driving on her way to work on a foggy morning and so that put her in the hospital. Other than that, that's the only time that I ever saw my mother in the hospital other than the time when she um, got cancer and she died of uh, lung cancer but she was a smoker so she knew that she smoked and that's what happened uh, but she just took everything with um, just strength you know just a powerhouse and again I call her the energizing bunny so that's my mother <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to share a little bit about her and um, I miss her and I love her and I love you mom up there I know you're you and dad are always watching over me and I really believe that with all of my heart so I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the ladies out there that follow my channel and um, whether you have the two-legged or the four-legged ones right I don't have the two-legged ones but I've had the four-legged ones and they are a lot of work <laughs> you know either way um, but they definitely keep us busy and keep us on our toes don't don't they but I just hope that you have a wonderful Mother's Day and know that you are special and I'm sure you are greatly appreciated or I hope you are um, okay so just have a great time <laughs> and I will try to get back to comments soon and as soon as I reboot and get resettled again back in my home 
new hometown area and in the meantime sorry if I'm kind of like trying to think for my words but I've got so much to do today and I went oh no I forgot to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day at least I was thinking of doing that with his video but it slipped to my mind it really did with everything going on so again we say happy Mother's Day and have a wonderful time stay safe and I will see you in the next video Let's go. No time to protest. I'm going to get you a stroller. We'll look for one. We'll find one. Come on. Let's go walkie walkie. Come on. Let's go walkie 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 walkie. Come on. There you go. Come on.